I started out poor. I grew up on a dairy farm in southern Ohio. So I used to milk the cows before I would go to school every morning. When my parents first moved to that house, it did not have running water or an indoor bathroom. The cows got running water before the house did because it was more important for the barn to have it. Through education, I attended public high schools and public universities. I spent 26 years teaching political science at Brown University and met my first billionaire. Eventually came to Washington, D.C. and now uh, work as a vice president at the leading clean tank in the world. We now are seeing billionaires become much more active in trying to influence the election process. They're spending tens or hundreds of millions of dollars pursuing their own partisan objectives, often in secret from the American public. And so it's really the combination of wealth and secrecy that is most problematic about the contemporary period. I wrote the book to provide a much better understanding of who these people are and how they are using their money in the political process. The big challenge of our current period in having all these billionaires with great fortunes is oftentimes they're able to influence elections and government in secret. I was talking with a wealthy individual, and he described what he called a get a senator strategy. If you can get one senator to basically put a hold on an appointment you don't like, or stop a bill that you don't want, that can be a very powerful way to affect the political process. The Supreme Court decisions have uh, put huge loopholes into our campaign finance laws. There used to be much more required disclosure. Uh, now, wealthy people can influence the process. They can spend tens or hundreds of millions of dollars in secret and nobody else knows about it. Wealthy people have the right to try and influence the process in the same way that every other American does, but we need to know how this big money is coming into the political process.